Hi there, Davey Salvage here with a 1934 Maytag Model 110 Ringer Wash Machine in excellent condition. This thing was dug out of a barn covered in dust and dirt. We cleaned it. Uh, we had to clean it real well and get all the dirt and grime off of it. And we're going to do a demonstration video for you here so you can see it run and operate. Now this item is for sale on going to be for sale on eBay and Facebook Marketplace if you're interested. And we can ship these pretty reasonable in the United States through Fasten All Freight. Just got some old towels here and it's full of warm water. I feel like a washwoman today. Let's put this thing in gear. Look at that. Still works just like it should. Really clean and the porcelain tub isn't all chipped up. The paint is chipped on this metal part down here but the porcelain tub doesn't have any chips in it. We could have a little more water in there but this is just a demonstration, so. I grew up washing with one of these things back in the early 90s. Well, that ought to be washed good enough. Let's see if the ringer's gonna work for us. This thing is so quiet. Oops, that's reversed, so we can't go that way. Now let's see if we can ring her out. Check it out. Washing clothes in a washing machine that's 80 years old is a lot more fun than doing it in these modern pieces of garbage they sell us now. Although you probably don't want to get your finger caught in this one. Huh. Almost as dry. Not, not ready for the shelf, but Got to hang her out on the line now. Let's see if we can stop her mid-stroke and go in reverse. Check that out. Forwards, reverse, man, we got all kinds of stuff on this thing. I'm going to run that one through again just because it's fun. Works just like it should. Now, Ma always told me when I was a kid, if you'd fold these things up like this and run them through there, it'd get them a lot drier and they wouldn't have to hang on the line so long. Ain't that something? Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen, a 1934 Maytag Model 110 Ringer Wash Machine. We got the last patent date right there is 1934, and our serial number is uh, 947945. And if you want to drain the water out of this beauty, you just put that hose down, the water will come out. Uh, let me grab my bucket here, see if she'll work. Look at that. Don't have to fool with no pump. Great for your cabin out back. Now one thing unique about this wash machine is it had the option to come with a, a gas motor. You could put a gasoline model 72 Maytag hit and miss engine on this and then you could run it without any electricity. I'm going to drain it and then I'll let you see uh, inside this thing underneath the agitator because it's, it's so clean I want you to look at it. This thing couldn't have seen a lot of laundry. It just doesn't have enough dirt on it to have seen much laundry. Now in the inside, down on the very bottom, there's one little tiny uh, chip. But I'll show you that just in a second. Get all that water out of there. See that? Look how clean that is. No rust, no chips. We got us a little chip. I don't know if you can see it. Let me turn that around so the light will get on it. 
We got us a little chip right down in there, but she ain't it, it ain't it ain't that bad at all. Don't want it to set there and stink. Okay, so check that out. We even got the there's the underside of the agitator. Really clean. Put that down on there. We got the lid. Lid amazingly still has both the handles. And uh, our gear shift, I'm gonna turn that thing around so you can see our gear shift on there that I was grabbing hold of. So there's your, there's your on and off for your agitator. Now we're gonna agitate. It's what you do to your brother when you're mad at him. And now it's off. It's like driving a truck. Brum. And you push that thing down there like that, you can spin that ringer head any, any direction you want it. There you go, help yourself. Nice old wash machine.